Kubernetes has released new version 1.27, which is the first version release of 2023. AWS has also provided now the support for version 1.27, and you can now upgrade your EKS cluster directly to 1.27 easily. But before you do that, there are three things you need to take care of. First and foremost is that you need to make sure that you must start using registry.k8.io because k8dcr.io image is frozen. So because starting from Kubernetes 1.27, the Kubernetes project has frozen the k8 dot gcr dot io registry this means that the new kubernetes images from version 1.27 and patches for older versions won't be published to this k8 dot gcr dot io registry instead you must start using registry dot k8 dot io to get the latest kubernetes images which is now the only source for kubernetes images if you haven't already updated your manifests and configurations to the new registry then you must do it now before you upgrade Second thing to keep in perspective before you upgrade to this new version is that um, these annotations like seccom.security.alpha and container.seccom.security.alpha have been removed. Secure computing mode or seccom provided improved workload security by restricting system calls for a pod or individual containers. The alpha seccom annotations have been deprecated since 1.19 version and with their removal in 1.27 seccom fields will no longer be auto populated for pods with seccom annotations instead instead now you should utilize the security context.seccom profile field for pods or containers to configure seccom profiles and to check whether you are using the deprecated alpha seccom annotation in your cluster, you can run the command which is on your screen. Third thing is um, the removal of container runtime command line argument. So this command line argument for the kubelet has been removed now. The default container runtime for EKS has been containered since version 1.24, which eliminates the need to specify the container runtime. It is important that you do not pass this argument to kubelet extra args in order to prevent errors during the node bootstrap process. You must remove the container runtime argument from all your node creation workflows and build scripts. This includes your bootstrap scripts, infrastructure as code templates, such as those for EKSCTL and Terraform, and any custom AMI build scripts, such as those for EKS optimized Amazon Linux AMI build scripts. So these are the three things uh, which I described in this video, which you need to keep in perspective before you upgrade to your uh, 1.27 version in AWS EKS cluster. And these will be valid for any other Kubernetes cluster for this version in any of the cloud or on the on-prem. I hope that this was useful. Thanks for listening.